Uh, unfortunately, things didn't end the way we were hoping for USC and the men's basketball team. Their run in March Madness was short, but that gave some fans a chance today to explore Pittsburgh since the team's time there ended so abruptly yesterday. And that is where we find News 19's Nate Stanley, who has more on how fans spent the day. Well, Gamecock fans, if you thought the loss yesterday was just a bad dream, I've got bad news. The loss here in Pittsburgh was absolutely real. It's felt by many of the fans who were around Pittsburgh today. Some tell me they're just heading back home. Others say they're going to stick around and see what the city has to offer. We're, we're disappointed with the result. You know, we, we would love to, to win every game that we play. Um, it wasn't easy even the next day for Gamecock fans after watching their team bow out of the tournament in the first game. Jordan Lee traveled to Pittsburgh from New Mexico to watch the Gamecocks. But now with some time on his hands and in another city, he spent Friday hanging out with his friends from college and exploring all parts of Pittsburgh. We just were able to spend time and, and go get some you know, nice dinners, you know, taste the local food and um, you know, come to you know uh, the Duquesne Incline to, to see some of the views and just take the city in. The Duquesne Incline was a hotbed for many on Friday. Tom Reinheimer has worked at the Incline for over a decade and says this weekend was a big tourist weekend for them and the city. Boy, busloads of people, busloads of uh, the team, the uh, the bands. Other fans like Mike Johannes Meyer say the trip home was more important and didn't want to stick around. I'm just heading back. Yeah, so we're gonna, I got some stuff to do with the kids on Saturday, so I'm going to be driving back. It's about a five-hour drive to Cincinnati from here. Brady Enters says the city has the potential of seeing a huge impact from this weekend's games and visitors. So from unique visitors, which is just different people through the door, we're looking at around 20,000. Um, we figure most of them who attend Thursday do come back Saturday. And despite what happened on the court, Lee says what matters the most about this weekend is seeing his longtime friends. And the only time we really get together is usually for like weddings and really big events. And um, so this is just another reason to, to, you know, ask our wives for permission to go hang out with the buddies. <laughs> And Inners tells me the city plans and hopes to have another March Madness event sometime in the near future. He says if that's the case, he would love to have the Gamecocks and their fans back here in Pittsburgh. Reporting from Pittsburgh, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. And by the way, when Pittsburgh last hosted March Madness games, the city saw over $10 million in revenue. Wow, wonderful.